Hello, I am Cosimo, and in this video I will be using the Mosaic module of sim for life to analyze the performance of a magnetic resonance imaging multi-receive coil array. Receive coils used in MRI detect spatially and temporally complex signals from the excited spins which are reconstructed into the final image. Multi-channel receive coil arrays are an integral component of modern MRI systems, allowing parallel imaging protocols for shorter scanning times and improved image and contrast quality. The design and optimization of the coil arrays is challenging as the number of parameters scales up rapidly with the number of channels. The parameters of interest are the B1 minus field distributions, signal to noise ratio, noise correlation matrices and G-factor maps. Traditional design methods in the lab become inefficient, in particular when a large number of scenarios and parameters are to be tested. Multiple software tools and custom-made scripts are typically used to facilitate this process. This generates a lot of overhead work in terms of data formats, compatibility and validation. Simple Mosaic module seems to integrate the necessary functionality and can process data from Sim4Life electromagnetic simulations and field data acquired directly from MRI scanners. My goal here is to cut the development, prototyping, testing and troubleshooting time by replacing the expensive benchwork with numerical analysis in a virtual platform. I will now show how to model an 8-channel coil array positioned around a cylindrical imaging phantom. I will examine the effect of varying different receive coil parameters and simulate a troubleshooting scenario of an effective coil array. The electromagnetic simulation and the computation of the field distribution is carried out in C4Life. I will use the outcome of the EM simulations to evaluate and optimize the performance of the coil. After the set of electromagnetic 8-channel simulation is completed and the results are available for post-processing, the simulated fields can be imported into Mosaic and become available for further analysis. I will now plot a slice of the B1- field of the first channel. This is the magnetic field distribution recorded by one coil element. The complete data flow, beginning with the channel data and ending in the viewer, is displayed in the workbench. The workbench becomes really handy as soon as more complicated analysis pipelines are set up. I will now repeat the same process for two other channels. I can freely move around and resize figures within the visualization panel. Next, I would like to create two eight-channel arrays. The first one will be formed of a linear superposition of all channels with equal weights. The second one will be used for a combination pattern resulting in a circularly polarized B1- field. The first quantity I look at is the B1- field distribution in the center of my sample for the equal weights and no phase shift array. As soon as I select to plot the field, a new list of array options appears in the details window. I will repeat the same procedure for the CP array, however this time I will add a 45 degrees phase shift between adjacent channels. Now the difference in the field distribution between the two array configurations is visible. I now plot the noise correlation matrices of the two arrays. The matrices provide information about the levels of correlated noise and signal crosstalk between all pairs of channels. I want to study the effect of adding some artificial noise to one of the channels. Since I've not added any noise factor yet, the correlation matrices of both arrays look similar. Next, I plot the optimal signal-to-noise ratio distributions for the two arrays. I set the slice selector to the center slice and the color scale correctly. Then I add some artificial scaling factor accounting for various sources of noise and losses to one of the channels of the CP array. This will simulate a defective element or preamp and is represented by the so-called alpha factor. I will now change the alpha factor of one channel, say channel 4, of the CP array to 1. I will also reset the scale of the color bars for all open figures. As you can see, the noise correlation matrix already reflects this change. 
The simulated defective channel can be easily identified by a simple inspection of the noise correlation matrix. There might be a difference in the signal-to-noise ratio fields too, but this might be difficult to spot in this view. I will use the Mosaic Image Processing tool to compare the two plots. By default, the comparison operator is a division. I will also add a 9x9 checkboard layer and select to display the average value of the voxels within every box. The defective channel is now clearly visible and identified. Finally, I introduce acceleration factors for the sense parallel image method to the arrays and examine the resulting noise magnification represented by the G-factor maps. I will select to plot the G-factor maps and make sure the slice selector is set to the center and that the color scale is set to the range of 1 to max. The G-factor maps identify areas that are more affected by reconstruction aliasing due to the multi-channel acquisition approach. Reduced image quality is likely to come about in those areas. I can now continue varying the parameters such as alpha factors, acceleration factors and channel combination weights until I obtain an optimized setup for a specific imaging field of view. The complete workflow can also be repeated for coil arrays with different geometrical configuration. So, in this video, I demonstrated how to use the powerful combination of the Mosaic module and sim for life for evaluating the performance and troubleshooting models of multi-channel receive coil arrays. The smooth transition from the electromagnetic simulation environment to the receive coil array optimization tool was a very positive experience. I was able to easily study the effect of varying parameters on the overall performance and quality of the coil array. In another movie, I will demonstrate how to use Mosaic to evaluate, troubleshoot and optimize the performance of already manufactured coil arrays. Thank you for your attention and I hope this video was helpful to get you started with using Mosaic.